We are, Vincent. We are following him and getting the BDI as well. Now that is about as close as you'll ever want to get to a hippo that is not in water. He's right next to us and is fairly relaxed actually. He's given us no sign of any sort of indication of aggression. You see lots of oxpeckers. That's really cool visuals of oxpeckers on a hippo skin. That's, for those of you that like screenshots, it's quite nice to have all the oxpeckers on different types of skin and on a hippo is not what we will see every single day but you can see the mud that's caked onto him that's dried that was a little bit wet when we first saw him and unfortunately it's gotten quite dry and it's almost like he's propping his face up by putting his mouth on the floor and then he's just standing there and almost falling asleep I see the other hippo has now presented himself a little bit more out of the water as well so I wonder if scuba Steve is not going to make his way into this direction he's got a few more cuts and scars on him than what our hippo close to us has I call him our hippo because I feel sorry for him. I, I feel a little bit bad that he's... Oh, look at that. That is a serious display to any other hippo. This is my water hole. This is my mouth. These are my teeth. Stay away from here. So that's why he's doing that. Also presenting the broad side of his body. So from where he is, I wonder... He probably can see this other hippo. And is just making sure that everybody knows who exactly is the boss of this water hole. But I'm kind of rooting for our sad hippo here on the side. I want him to get to water. He looks as though he's dry and he's a little on the sad side. His kind of head is flopped down and he doesn't look exactly very thrilled with life at all. And always got to root for the underdog in life. So hopefully he's going to find his way to water and is going to be able to get out of this uncomfortable situation that he's currently in. I'm just so surprised at to how relaxed he is with us out of the water. Are you you're wondering if they always fight until death at water holes? Not always. Sometimes they'll chase each other away without killing one another. There's often, you know, they've got a very tough, thick hide, and if there's a few bites here and there, there might be some scarring, but they won't actually kill one another all the time. It does happen from time to time, but not always. So you might find that, well, in fact, probably I would say 80% of the time, the fights don't end up in, with death. They end up with a situation where the hippo actually survives no problem. So... It's not always a sad story. But you can see he's starting to almost fall asleep now. The eyes slowly but surely closing. You can see also little, little ears in comparison to if you had to compare that to something like the rhinos or the elephants. They've got tiny ears. And the reason why they have to have small ears is because when they go underwater, that's got to seal so the water doesn't leak in there all the time. So they twist that back towards the neck and that then seals everything up. So smaller ears. Also, they don't really need to hear very well because they are underwater a lot of the time and when they're on water they don't have too many predators so they don't rely on hearing to stay alive they've got a fairly decent sized eye that they can see and then very big nostrils that they're able to smell pretty well as well